Picture this. The collapse has hit. It's the end of the world. Godzilla's walking out of the sea. World War III. Alien invasion, zombie apocalypse, polar shift. So depressed. I don't know what to do. Whatever your post-apocalyptic fantasy is, you need to escape your apartment, your suburban home, your Malibu mansion. You need to get from point A, which is danger, to point B, safety. That could be your grandparents in Montana, your cabin in the woods, your bug out location, wherever it is you need to go. This is a multi-day trip or longer. The roads are congested or dangerous. You need to head on foot. You've got your bug out backpack on you. But where are you gonna sleep on this journey? Tent in the woods, under an overpass. Have you thought about that? What's your shelter look like? The way I see it, if you've got a pack on your back and you want a shelter, you've got basically three choices. You've got a conventional tent, you've got a hammock, and you've got a tarp. The tent's gonna be the top choice for most people and for good reason. They keep the bugs out, they have a homey feeling inside. You can sleep more than one person in them. You can usually fit your gear in with you and most modern backpacking style tents are freestanding, which means you don't have to worry about trying to tie things off, put down stakes, you just connect the poles and in most cases, as long as you've got a flat spot, relatively flat spot, you're good to go for the night. Perhaps the best advantage of choosing a tent um, would be the, just the sheer number of tents that are on the market. Really, there are tents to fit virtually every situation and every budget. The downsides to a tent largely are that they uh, tend to be heavier and they can be bulky. The tent that I'm in is the Stormbreak model by North Face. It weighs about five pounds, it's easy to pitch. The disadvantage to this um, is it's bright yellow color. Um, if you don't want to attract attention, that could be a problem but this is more for tree line type backpacking where you want to be noticed for safety purposes. A good hammock can be a great choice depending on the landscape you're moving through. They're lightweight, they're not very bulky, um, and uh, you know, they're actually surprisingly comfortable. If you've never slept in one, I recommend you do that. The biggest disadvantage to these um, are, is, is that you end up being dependent on trees or, or some type of t attachment points that are within a certain proximity of each other in order to set them up. And really, while you, I suppose you could sleep two people in this, most packable hammocks are designed for one person only. This hammock I'm using is a higher end hammock. It's from One Wind. Bunch of links in the description to these products. Um, but it's got, uh, it's got an, a fly over it that can double as a tarp. Um, it's got the insect screen and uh, it comes in a discreet color if you want to be on the down low. What I like best about the hammock really is that um, it has uses beyond just being in a bug out bag. You can use this today. Um, we, use, we use this one ar around the campsite um, at different state parks, um, just lounging around reading a book for the day. You gotta be a little more adventurous, bushcrafty to pick the tarp as your primary shelter, but it does have some advantages that you won't find in the conventional tent. For starters, they're really lightweight. They pack down pretty small. Um, and they're versatile. So you can use them for more than just a shelter. You can cover gear. You can create a rainwater catchment system with them. You could turn them into a stretcher to haul an injured person out of the woods. Um, all kinds of stuff, really. The disadvantage to them is that they can be a bit of a challenge to set up. Um, it takes some practice. You need to know some knots. You need some paracord. Um, they don't keep biting insects out. The other thing is that tops leave you directly on the ground. Um, this top is big enough that I could actually fold it over um, underneath to create a barrier on the ground. Um, but on the flip side, I could also expand it and sleep more than one person in here. This particular tarp is a purpose-built tarp. It's a Defender tarp from AquaQuest. Um, and uh, it, it's gonna cost more than a tarp that you're gonna buy at Walmart, but it has a world of other features. The camo so you can be discreet. It's uh, certainly stronger. It's got more attachment points. It's a, it's a survival tarp. Check the links in the description. Talk to me in the comments, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I have a blog, check that out. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next video.